It is tempting to think xenophobia is just a reaction to COVID-19 panic. But it seems to be hardwired into people of all countries whenever we need someone to blame for something bad happening outside our control. In this country during COVID-19, people of Chinese and Asian descent are being relentlessly attacked. This isn't the first time. During World War II, after the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, there were the internment camps. Even that wasn't the first time. In 1924, Congress enacted a set of ethnic quotas as a way of ensuring Americans stayed white and Anglo-Saxon. Other races, such as Jewish and Italian immigrants, were restricted and nearly all Asians were banned. And even that wasn't the first time. The Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882 was used to ban the immigration of Chinese laborers. This took place just some 13 years after Chinese workers completed America's transcontinental railroad. I am Chinese. I'm American. I came here in 1999, the adopted daughter of an American woman I became a citizen immediately and was formally naturalized. My passport is blue. I can vote. I speak only English. And yet, today, I fear to go outside. As COVID-19 spreads across the United States, so does an alarming rise in hate crimes within Asian American communities. Why didn't they do that to this car? And they just... My heart just sunk. This car vandalized in California. Why do you keep calling this the Chinese virus? There are reports of dozens of incidents of bias against Chinese Americans in this country. Why do you keep using this? A lot of people say it's China. racist. It's not racist at all, no. You've been very clear about who you think is to blame or where the origin to blame for this virus is. Not think. No, no. I don't think. I know who, where it came from. Words matter. Only at that presents physical harm to the Asian American community. Medical experts and health experts agree that the proper term is COVID-19 or a novel coronavirus. By using this term, it adds nothing to the scientific community but causes harm to the Asian American community. The video, horrifying. An Asian American minding his own business as a total stranger berates him before spraying him with Febreze. New York City's Transit Department now calling this incident racist. Hell nine, help this I hate Asians, look at Oh, he's scared, OG. Crack your shit. The CDC also weighing in now, saying that being of Asian descent does not increase the chance of getting or spreading COVID-19.